So what we're seeing is a high density anomaly sitting approximately 85 feet southwest of the garden shaft, about 230 feet yeah. below the surface of the money pit. It's significant. Could the discovery of an ancient Chinese coin on Oak Island be the key to unlocking centuries-old global exploration and trade mysteries? In a groundbreaking find that challenges our understanding of pre-Columbian contact with the New World, the Oak Island treasure hunt has taken a dramatic turn, with unearthing a coin from the Song Dynasty suggesting far-reaching connections across continents and centuries were thrust into a narrative that could rewrite history itself. But how did this artifact, a silent witness to the past, find its way to a remote island off the coast of Nova Scotia? And what does its presence imply about the people who once tread its shores? The Oak Island treasure hunt, a mystery that has tempted treasure seekers for over two centuries, recently witnessed a groundbreaking discovery that has the potential to rewrite the saga of the island itself and the history of pre-Columbian contact with the New World. At the heart of this latest discovery is the unexpected unearthing of an ancient Chinese coin. Charles II, yeah? <sighs> yep, Charles II. That's way too early for people to be here. That's <laughs> 120 years before the find of the money pit, for sure. This find has introduced a new layer of mystery and speculation into the already complex narrative of Oak Island. The coin in question was discovered by Alex Lagina and Jack Begley, two central figures in the modern hunt for the Oak Island treasure. Their quest, marked by technological advancements and a systematic approach to exploring the island's many mysteries, has been documented and followed by millions worldwide. The ancient Chinese coin, found embedded in the Canadian waters near Oak Island, stands out for its age and geographical and cultural implications. The coin is believed to be from the Song Dynasty, which ruled China from 960 to 1279 AD, a period known for its rich cultural development and expansion in trade. The discovery was made in an area of Oak Island that had previously been overlooked or deemed insignificant by treasure hunters and historians. The waters around the island have been explored to varying extents over the years. Still, the focus has often been on the land, particularly the infamous Money Pit, a site long thought to be the final resting place of the island's elusive treasure. The finding of the Chinese coin in these waters challenges previous assumptions about the routes taken by ancient explorers and traders, suggesting that the history of contact between the East and West may be far more complex than previously thought. The coin's location, far from the shores of its country of origin and embedded in the sediment near an island off the coast of Nova Scotia, raises numerous questions. How did it arrive there? Was it part of a larger cache of artifacts or treasures? Does its presence indicate trade routes or exploratory voyages that history has yet to acknowledge? These questions fuel the imagination and drive further exploration and research. The discovery of the coin led to a range of emotions and responses from the team. There was, of course, the initial shock and excitement that came with finding an artifact of such significance and mystery. Alex Lagina, Jack Begley, and the rest of the team were immediately aware of the potential implications of their find. This was not just another piece of the puzzle, but a clue that could change the narrative of Oak Island and its treasure. The team's excitement was moderated by a sense of responsibility to understand and contextualize the coin's presence on the island. The implications of the discovery extend beyond the immediate team of treasure hunters. Historians, archaeologists, and scholars worldwide have been interested in the find, recognizing its potential to contribute to understanding global trade, navigation, and interaction in the medieval period. The possibility that there were established yet currently unknown trade routes or exploratory expeditions crossing the Pacific Ocean and reaching the Americas before Columbus has sparked scholarly debate and excitement. The search for the Oak Island treasure has been a journey of highs and lows, marked by the relentless pursuit of a mystery that has captivated the imagination of many for centuries. At the forefront of this modern-day exploration are heroes whose expertise and dedication have significantly advanced the search, particularly in the island's challenging underwater terrain. Among these figures, Tony Sampson and Ken DeBoer stand out for their specialized diving and underwater imaging skills, respectively. Their contributions and innovative use of a remotely operated vehicle, 
have opened new doors in the treasure hunt, offering fresh perspectives and possibilities. Tony Sampson, a seasoned diver with years of experience navigating the dangerous waters of Oak Island, brings to the team invaluable expertise in underwater exploration. His intimate knowledge of the island's aquatic environment and a keen eye for detail have made him an indispensable member of the treasure hunting team. Samson's dives are not merely acts of physical endurance and skill, but are also informed by a deep understanding of the historical and archaeological significance of the site. His ability to navigate underwater caves, crevices, and debris has yielded important artifacts and clues, bringing the team closer to unraveling Oak Island's mysteries. Complementing Tony Sampson's diving prowess is Ken, an underwater imaging expert who has revolutionized how the team explores the seabed. Ken's work involves the sophisticated manipulation of underwater cameras and imaging equipment, capturing high-resolution photos and videos that are critical for the team's analysis. His ability to visualize the unseen and bring it to the surface for study has transformed underwater exploration from a game of touch and feel to a detailed visual investigation. Through Ken's lenses, the murky depths reveal their secrets, offering invisible clues to the naked eye above water. Introducing the remotely operated vehicle into the Oak Island treasure hunt marks a significant leap forward in underwater exploration techniques. This technological marvel, equipped with high-definition cameras and advanced navigation systems and capable of reaching depths that are unsafe or inaccessible to human divers, has become a critical tool in the team's arsenal. The ROV's features, including its ability to maneuver through tight spaces and its endurance in harsh underwater conditions, have made it an ideal companion in the search for the Oak Island treasure. One of the ROV's key advantages is its ability to provide real-time feedback to the team, allowing for immediate adjustments in exploration strategy based on the visuals it relays to the surface. This capability has proven invaluable in exploring areas around the so-called Money Pit and other sites of interest around the island where traditional diving methods face limitations. The ROV's cameras have captured images of underwater formations, potential man-made structures, and artifacts that have eluded treasure hunters for decades. The expertise of Tony Sampson and Ken, combined with the advanced capabilities of the ROV, has significantly expanded the scope of the Oak Island treasure hunt. Their work has not only contributed to the discovery of artifacts and clues, but has also helped in mapping the underwater topography of the island, providing new insights into its geological and historical landscape. This comprehensive approach to underwater exploration has opened new doors in the search for the treasure, suggesting that the secrets of Oak Island may lie buried beneath the earth and beneath the waves. Among the recent findings at Oak Island is the direct connection to significant historical hints such as Zena Halpern's map and the speculation surrounding the presence of an artificial dam, which stand out as crucial developments. Zena Halpern's map, a document that has sparked skepticism and excitement within the treasure hunting community, claims to show the locations of various artifacts and sites of interest on Oak Island dating back several centuries. The recent discovery of artifacts directly correlating with locations marked on Halpern's map lends a newfound credibility to the document. Among these artifacts, the ancient Chinese coin and a hand-carved wooden piece stand out for their intrinsic historical value and potential to unlock the secrets that Halpern's map hints at. The map, which some believe to be a guide to the final resting place of the Knights Templar treasure or evidence of pre-Columbian transatlantic contact, has long been fascinating. The alignment of the newly discovered artifacts with specific locations on the map suggests that Halpern's work may hold more truth than previously thought, challenging skeptics and inviting a re-evaluation of the map's significance in the Oak Island saga. Among the most interesting of the recent discoveries is evidence suggesting the presence of an artificial dam on Oak Island. This speculation is fueled by the discovery of a series of stone structures and alignments under the water near the island's shore, which appear to be man-made. The implications of such a find are profound suggesting that past island inhabitants undertook significant engineering projects, possibly to protect valuable assets or to aid in constructing the so-called money pit. The presence of an artificial dam would dramatically alter the understanding of Oak Island's history, indicating a level of organization, resources, and purpose that goes beyond what treasure hunters and historians have previously thought. 
It would hint to theories that Oak Island was the site of activities involving substantial treasures or artifacts, possibly linked to the Knights Templar, pirates, or even earlier unknown groups. The direct connection between the discovered artifacts and Xena Halpern's map, coupled with the speculation surrounding the artificial dam, necessitates re-evaluating Oak Island's history. These findings suggest a narrative far more complex and historically significant than the simple tale of buried pirate treasure that has dominated popular imagination. Instead, Oak Island emerges as a site of historical confluence, where various cultures and eras may have intersected, leaving behind a patchwork of clues for modern-day treasure hunters to decode. The significance of these findings extends beyond the immediate thrill of discovery. They represent pieces of a historical puzzle that, when fully assembled, could reveal new chapters of human history, shedding light on the movements of cultures across the globe, their interactions, and their legacies. The artifacts suggest that Oak Island was a place of importance, visited or inhabited by people with the means and motivation to undertake significant engineering feats and leave behind valuables whose origins span the globe. The quest for the elusive treasures of Oak Island is full of more than just the physical challenges of digging and diving into the unknown. The team, led by the Legina brothers, also faces a web of provincial regulations that govern underwater exploration. These legal frameworks are designed to protect the maritime and historical heritage of Nova Scotia, ensuring that treasure hunts and archaeological endeavors do not harm the environment or disturb historically significant sites. Understanding and navigating these regulations is crucial for the team as they impact their exploration efforts scope, method, and pace. Nova Scotia's regulations on underwater exploration are strict, reflecting the province's commitment to preserving its underwater cultural heritage. These rules cover a broad spectrum of activities, from using diving equipment and remote-operated vehicles to excavating potential archaeological sites. Permits are required for almost all forms of exploration and excavation, with specific requirements regarding the disturbance of the seabed and the handling of artifacts. For the Oak Island team, this means that every dive, every use of an ROV, and every excavation must be carefully planned and executed within the parameters set by these regulations. The primary challenge these regulations pose is the limitation on direct interaction with potential underwater archaeological sites. The team cannot simply dig or excavate at a site where they suspect artifacts might be located. They must first prove the site's historical significance through non-intrusive means and obtain the necessary permits. This process can be time-consuming, often requiring the team to pause their exploration efforts and await approval from provincial authorities. In response to these challenges, the Oak Island team has innovatively adapted their exploration strategies to continue their search without running afoul of provincial regulations. One of the key adaptations has been the increased use of technology, particularly ROVs equipped with high-definition cameras and sonar equipment. These tools allow the team to explore the underwater environment around Oak Island in great detail without physically disturbing the sites. The ROVs can navigate tight spaces and provide live feedback to the team, letting them make real-time decisions about their exploration efforts. Moreover, the team has invested in non-invasive surveying technologies such as side-scan sonar and magnetometry. These technologies enable the exploration of vast areas of the seabed, identifying anomalies that could indicate the presence of artifacts or structures without any physical disturbance. Once potential sites of interest are identified, the team can proceed with the lengthy process of obtaining the necessary permits for closer investigation. The adaptation of their strategies also extends to their approach to environmental conservation. The team is acutely aware of the need to preserve the underwater environment around Oak Island for its ecological value and potential historical significance. To this end, they have employed measures to minimize their ecological footprint, such as limiting heavy machinery underwater and employing eco-friendly practices in their exploration activities. Another critical aspect of navigating the challenges posed by provincial regulations is the team's collaboration with authorities and experts in maritime archaeology and historic preservation. By engaging with these stakeholders early and often, the team ensures that their exploration plans comply with regulations and that they have the support of the authorities in their quest. This collaborative approach has also opened up new avenues for exploration. 
By working with archaeologists and historians, the team has gained insights into the potential historical significance of their finds, which has helped obtain permits for further exploration. These collaborations have enriched the team's understanding of Oak Island's history, guiding their exploration efforts in more meaningful directions. The varied artifacts unearthed on Oak Island is as diverse as it is interesting. I'm gonna put it in, we'll zero it. Lights are on, there you go. Including items that span a broad spectrum of time and geography, this collection includes ancient Chinese coins, carved wooden structures, pottery fragments, and metal objects whose origins and purposes are subjects of intense speculation and study. Each artifact, carefully extracted from the earth or the waters surrounding the island, carries a piece of a puzzle that spans continents and millennia. The ancient Chinese coins, for example, suggest a connection to Asia that predates most known European contact with the Americas. Their presence on Oak Island, thousands of miles from their origin, raises tantalizing questions about global trade routes, exploratory expeditions, or even looted treasures from far-off lands. Similarly, the carved wooden structures, potentially linked to shipbuilding or flood control mechanisms, hint at an organization and engineering prowess that belies the popular image of Oak Island as a mere pirate's lair. Meanwhile, pottery fragments and metal objects provide insights into the daily lives and technological capabilities of those who frequented or inhabited the island. Whether these were left behind by treasure barriers, temporary inhabitants, or visitors from afar, remains a subject of investigation. Each artifact adds a layer of complexity to the Oak Island mystery, challenging historians and archaeologists to weave these different threads into a coherent historical tapestry. Among the artifacts, the disc-shaped coin merits special attention for its potential to unlock past secrets. This coin, possibly dating back to ancient times, could signify far more than mere commerce. Its design and metallurgy may offer clues to its origin, whether it be European, Asian, or perhaps even from a civilization not yet considered in the historical narratives of Oak Island. There is much speculation regarding the coin's ties to ancient civilizations. Some suggest it could be Phoenician, pointing to a much earlier exploration of the Americas than previously documented. Others insist a connection to the Knights Templar, theorizing that the coin is part of a treasure trove linked to this mysterious medieval order. Regardless of its origins, the coin is tantalizing evidence that Oak Island was a site of significant interest to various groups throughout history. The discovery of artifacts suggesting the presence of an artificial dam adds another layer of mystery to the Oak Island story. This feature, potentially engineered for water management or defense, implies a permanent or semi-permanent settlement with advanced knowledge of construction and hydrology. The dam could have served multiple purposes, protecting valuable deposits, aiding in ship repair and construction, or even as part of a sophisticated system to conceal and protect treasures. Such a structure challenges the traditional narrative of Oak Island as a simple hiding place for pirate booty. Instead, it suggests a strategic location chosen for its defensibility and utility, possibly over a prolonged period. This revelation forces a re-evaluation of the island's role in pre-colonial and colonial history, hinting at a story far more complex than previously imagined. The cluster of artifacts discovered on Oak Island, especially the disc-shaped coin and evidence of an artificial dam, are critical pieces in a historical puzzle that spans the globe. These findings imply interactions between cultures and civilizations that history has yet to acknowledge fully. They suggest that Oak Island was not merely a waypoint for adventurers and pirates, but a significant site that drew the attention of diverse groups over the centuries. The implications of these discoveries extend beyond the thrill of treasure hunting. They invite a re-examination of known historical narratives, challenging scholars to integrate these new findings into a broader understanding of human exploration, trade, and technology transfer. Oh, 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 look at that! That's bloody brilliant! As the puzzle unfolds, the story of Oak Island grows ever richer, promising to reshape our understanding of the past and the interconnectedness of ancient civilizations. The methodologies and technologies honed on Oak Island have broad implications for historical exploration and archaeology. Techniques such as ground-penetrating radar GPR, sonar mapping, and the strategic use of remotely operated vehicles ROVs, have proven their worth in uncovering artifacts and features previously hidden from view, 
These tools have allowed researchers to peer beneath the surface without disturbing it, preserving the integrity of archaeological sites for thorough investigation and analysis. The collaborative approach seen on Oak Island, involving experts from various disciplines such as history, archaeology, geology, and engineering, sets an example for future explorations. This multidisciplinary method ensures that multiple perspectives are considered, enriching the interpretation of discoveries and reducing the likelihood of oversight. Such collaboration can be particularly beneficial in tackling mysteries that span different cultures and periods, requiring a diverse range of expertise to fully understand their complexities. The potential for discoveries, driven by the methodologies and technologies pioneered on Oak Island, is vast. As similar approaches are applied to other historical mysteries, we may find ourselves re-evaluating long-held beliefs about human history. For example, the precise mapping and exploration techniques used on Oak Island could shed light on the lost city of Atlantis, reveal new insights into the construction of the Pyramids of Giza, or unlock the secrets of the Nazca Lines in Peru. Each of these mysteries, like Oak Island, has the potential to provide groundbreaking insights into our ancestors' lives and civilizations. Moreover, integrating modern technology with traditional archaeological methods has the potential to accelerate discoveries at a previously unimaginable pace. Technologies like LIDAR, light detection and ranging, which can map out land features hidden under dense vegetation, and AI-driven analysis of satellite imagery could reveal unknown archaeological sites or provide new clues to existing mysteries. Looks like we'll get her down there. Another foot and a half. These advancements could significantly expand our understanding of historical events, trade routes, and cultural exchanges. The Oak Island treasure hunt encourages a new era of exploration that marries the thoroughness of traditional archaeology with the innovation of modern technology and interdisciplinary collaboration. This approach enhances the efficiency and scope of archaeological investigations and engages a broader audience in the excitement of discovery. As the public becomes more involved, either through following televised explorations or participating in crowdsourced research projects, the collective enthusiasm can drive further investment in uncovering our shared past. This new era of exploration also emphasizes the importance of preserving our historical heritage. As we develop more sophisticated methods for probing the mysteries of history, we must also be mindful of the impact of these activities on archaeological sites and the environment. The lessons learned from Oak Island about balancing the thrill of discovery with the need for conservation can guide future explorations, ensuring that our quest for knowledge does not come at the expense of the very treasures we seek to understand. The future of exploring historical mysteries, inspired by the saga of Oak Island, promises a landscape where the past is more accessible than ever. The integration of advanced technologies, collaborative approaches, and a global community of enthusiasts has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of history. As we stand on the edge of this new era, the possibilities for discovery are as boundless as our curiosity, driving us toward a deeper comprehension of the human story and our place within it. The legacy of Oak Island, therefore, extends far beyond its shores, igniting a global passion for unraveling the mysteries of our collective past and shaping the future of historical exploration.